Welcome to Casino 7095 Air Gun Reviews. My name is Gary. I'm in my 70s. I'm retired military, combat veteran. Nobody's giving me anything. I'm not sponsored by anybody, so I'm not beholden to anybody. Let's take a few minutes and take a look at some of my videos. Like Guten Tag! Tonight, I'm going to present a couple more World War II weapons used by the Germans. First one will be a machine and pistol. This pistol was first introduced during World War I. It was known at that time as a C96. Uh, it had an enclosed magazine and you loaded it with a stripper. Uh, in uh, 1932, it was developed into what is now known as the M712. Major difference was they changed to a box magazine. Uh, it was chambered in uh, 7.63 Mauser ammunition. Operated full automatic. Second weapon I'll be covering is a machine gun. I don't think I pronounced that right. Machine gun. Machine gun. Known as the MP40. MP40 came into service in 1940. Was primarily used by infantrymen, uh, drone leaders, and armored crew vehicles. Uh, I dare you to find a World War II movie that you don't see somebody carrying one of these. They were chambered in uh, nine millimeter parabellum, full automatic, submachine gun, operated from an open boat. Loading stock. Is well used machine gun. Okay. Okay, it's time to do the review on the uh, Umarex Legend replicas. First one being the uh, Bowser M712. Like all the Legend series, it's an excellent reproduction. It's a heavy pistol, full metal, simulated wood grip. It's a very good simulated. It really looks like wood. Uh, you notice the shape of the handle. This is why it got its nickname, the broom handle. There's a little ringlet for the lanyard. Uh, magazine, opposed to CO2 and the BBs. Uh, let me refer here for a minute. Uh, it's 18 round steel BB magazine. Uh, that's it. Make sure no BBs in it. 
operate the gun, you pull back on the slide, and it charges and ready to go. Safety is operated from the back or thumb only operates when it's in safe. I mean, when it's cocked. Make the magazine out quick. Get it decocked. Uh, fixed front sight. Rear sight is adjustable for elevation. On the side, you have the selector switch. The end is semi-automatic. Push the button, slide it down to the R, and that's full automatic. Uses one CO2. Has the uh, Bowser markings on it. I gotta say, Omarex, when it comes to their legends, they are so much like the real things. Okay, let's take a, take a look here at the big one. Uh, the MP40. Again, a Legend series. It is a heavy gun. Full metal. Uh, has polymer side plate and pistol handles, uh, which they did a real good job of simulating the uh, original Bakelite. As a sling mount on the front and sling mount on the back, so you can get a uh, leather strap for it. Uh, fixed front sight with a hoop on it. Rear sight has two positions down and up. Push the button in the back here, drops down the uh, folding stock. Selector switch is on the bottom, white, safe, one red dot, semi automatic, two red dots, full automatic. Magazine drops out with a button. Right here on the side, pops out easily. Uh, magazine holds two CO2s. Drop the first one in face down, second one face up, tighten it down with the allen. Can use it with one CO2, just put the first one, a full one in, down, and an empty one up. But uh, that's what I'm doing right now with it. Uh, bolt right here on the side. Does operate from an open bolt position. We'll start back up. See anything else about it? Uh, again, like all the Legend series, they did a really good job of copying one. Fired holding above the magazine. This uh, little weird thing comes down at the bottom was originally designed on the original gun so they could lay it on a vehicle and shoot it without laying directly on the barrel. Uh, 
Let's see if I can think of anything else to say about it. Uh, can be operated like a pistol or when you fold down the stock. It's a carbine. Just had about all the features on it. Uh, why don't we do some shooting? Okay, let's see what this will do. Let's turn on the target cam. And put a magazine in here. Target. Yeah, but I'm single shot first. See if I can hit anything. Let's flip it over to the fun switch. I know it's all hitting the same spot, but that's pretty cool on the fun. Okay. Let's see what the, this baby will do. Charge her up. See, we got her on single shot right now. Over the button switch. Well, that's it for those babies. Let's see if I can get a chronograph test on this. I've never tried the FX with BBs. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'm pretty low on the uh, CO2 on this. That's still respectable. 
for a BB. Let's see what to. If I can get something on the big boy. Let's slow her down and put her in a single shot. Oh, I tried it. Could resist that. Okay. Let's turn the chronograph off. And we'll get back to review. Okay, it's time for my final reviews. Uh, the MP712. I've had this for quite a while. It's really fun to shoot. Uh, it's a little hard to shoot one-handed. You need to grip it, especially on full automatic, because it will it will rise up. Uh, on the uh, chronograph test, I was getting to low 300s. Uh, it's rated at uh, 360. Uh, I was into my third magazine by the time I chronographed it because I did do some playing with it before I started filming. Just make sure everything was working right. Uh, it's a really fun gun and it's a really good replica. On the big boy, it's also a whole lot of fun. If you do get one of these, uh, considering it loads up two CO2s and 52 rounds, stock up on BBs and CO2. Uh, you will throw it on a fun switch and go through a lot of them. Uh, it actually is heavy, but it handles well. Uh, I've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of this. Uh, on the chronograph test, I was getting low 400s, it's rated at 460, uh, but again, I had gone through a couple magazines before I chronographed it. Generally both of them, a whole lot of fun. I mean, they're not serious target pistols or rifles, but they are, which I admit, they're fun. And that's what we're trying to do is having fun, right? Highly recommend the MP40. It's a great gun. In closing, let me just say I've been doing a few of these videos now. Uh, um, getting a little long in the tooth now. Uh, I like being able to pass on some of the history I know on uh, some of the replica guns. Uh, during my six years in the Air Force and 16 years in the Navy, I got to own or handle just about all the guns I have in replicas. Uh, also do these videos because it uh, keeps my mind working. Uh, please, give me some comments. Let me know if you like these videos. Let me know if you hate them. Just let me know. Uh, you're watching me on YouTube. 
give me a subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos during the winter here because I'm in upstate New York. Won't be getting out much, so I'll be doing a lot of stuff on the inside. Uh, I've got a lot more replicas to go through. Uh, once it warms up in the spring, I'll get back outside with some of the long rifles. Looking forward to coming some of the guns that are coming out next year. Got my eye on the. Uh, lost my train of thought there for a minute. Uh, like I was saying, this coming out next year. We got the uh, Avenger bull pump, and uh, I'm really looking forward to Umerich is coming out with a grease gun. Carried one of them. I was in the Central Highlands in Vietnam. Uh, stay tuned here on the end. I'm gonna list some of the specifications on these two guns and some still pictures. Uh, so that's going to be about it for right now. Uh, happy shooting.